the gaze, the eyes. Do we need to elaborate what has happened because of this since the introduction of social media and the unfettered access to the opposite gender? Come on, Akhil Karim, 95 million photos and videos uploaded on Instagram on a daily basis. And 350 million photos on Facebook uploaded on a daily basis. That's a lot of content. You know, the average 13 year old today sees more content in one day than maybe my granddad has seen in his whole life because of the feed, right? So if you're unable to restrain the gaze, we know who we are, then think whether social media is the best thing for you. And that is why Bukhari and Muslim narrate on the authority of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Beware of sitting in public roads. You know public roads, you know your city roads, you know your Edgewell roads where people just sat there with their pipes or whatever they may be doing, just staring at people walking. He said, don't sit in public pathways. Don't do it. They said, the companions, Ya Rasulullah, ma lana min majalisina budna tahaddathu fiha. We've got nowhere else to sit. This is where we talk. In other words, yeah, their, their houses were not like our houses with a kitchen, a kitchen and a bedroom, and dining room. And, tea room and it was just a small space so they were genuine they said where else are we going to sit and talk and get to he said to them look if you insist on sitting on the public roads public spaces your costas your lounges then make sure you give the road its right they said what is the right of the road he said five things lowering the gaze that came number what? Number one, lowering the gaze. If you're gonna sit there, you've gotta carry out the conditions. Number one, lowering the gaze. Number two, kafful adha, to not harm anyone. Number three, raddu salam, to return the greeting of salam. When someone says salam alaykum, say alaykum salam. Number four, al amru bil ma'roof, enjoin what is good. Number five, wa nahi al munkar, forbid what is evil. Ya Allah. It's. Uh, it's quite expensive. It's quite a task. It's quite a responsibility. You want to sit in a place like that? Fine, by all means. But these are the five conditions. And it begins with the lowering of the gaze. Why do I quote this hadith? Because this is not just about the physical highways, the physical roads. That's also the roads of information. The highway information roads. Social media, they are roads. Each app is made up of roads. Your feed is a road that requires you to lower your gaze and to not harm and to give salam and to enjoy good and forbid evil. It begins with the lowering of the gaze. It's a huge responsibility. This device here, this miraculous organ that Allah Jalla Jalalu has blessed you and I with. One of the greatest pathways to your heart. It is like a gutter that is pouring into your heart all what you feel inside of that gutter and this is the pathway here as the poet he said he said all calamities they began with the glance and all fires they begin with a spark Allah said, indeed, you're hearing and you're seeing and your heart, there is going to be a question about all of them on the day of judgment, Allah said. So there's no point somebody posting a picture of himself, herself, and then they go, no perfs, please. Or uh, you shouldn't be looking. Who told you to look? La. The one who told you to lower the gaze is the same one who told you to dress up appropriately and careful how you present yourself. It came from the same source, don't cut and paste. Tell the believing men to lower the gaze and to protect their private parts. That will be purer for them. Allah, He knows what you are doing. And then he said, And tell the believing women to lower their gaze and to protect their parts and to not show their adornments except what is apparent from it. And then the ayah gives a description of the hijab. So the same ayah that tells men to lower their gaze and fear Allah, 
is the same set of verses that tell our counterparts to fear Allah with respect to dress presentation. That's balance. That's justice. The lowering of the gaze. Most of it is not real, brothers. Dear sisters, you are aware of that. It's the whole fake it till you make it approach. You know that. And that's why Ibn Muflih, when he was giving us advice about how to help us lower the gaze, he says beautiful words. He said, The intelligent one should lower the gaze from the haram. Why? Listen to this. He said, he says, because you will see something that you cannot attain in a way that does not represent its reality. Did you get this? Think about it. It will help you and I to lower the gaze. It's a beautiful statement. Fear Allah when it comes to the lowering of the gaze. Why? Because you will see something, A, that you can't attain. Most of it is our reach. And the second problem, it does not represent its reality. It's not real. And that's why most things that you look at and you think, whoa, should you get a little bit closer? You say, ugh, is that not the case? That's most things in life. It's an illusion. The whole dunya is mata'ul ghurur, the enjoyment of illusion. No, those cheekbones are not that high, and that face is not that slim, nor is the nose. And the contouring is all fake, it's just a filter, right? And there's no doe eyes involved either, right? Because you gotta be careful nowadays. Yeah, brothers and sisters, let's be honest here. I mean, just one Instagram filter now, can, it's, 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 just, it's just better than a whole facial coverage of foundation and setting powder and a bronzer and contouring and, 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 and all of that. Just one filter is all what you need. So the gaze, lower the gaze. We ask Allah to help us with this one. So test yourself against that and be honest. Please like, share and subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Please also like, share and subscribe to our Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description of this video.